Welcome back to the Fierce Hot Wheel guys. Today we're featuring another little Hot Wheel review. This is new for 2020. Or should I say redesigned. So this is a Lamborghini Urus 2017. Uh, card number one, 213 added to 50. As you see. New for 2020. Hot Wheel Exotic number 1 out of 10. There's another Hot Wheel that I want to pick up. is a Coenenseg uh, Yesco. No, a Speed Tail and a Yesco. I think they're coming out also. So if I get them, I'll pick them up and do a review on them. That's what I've seen uh, at the gas stations. But I want to wait and buy for a cheaper version. So nevertheless, this is a Hot Wheel Exotic. Supercars always ready to race. Yep, it is. All right. So as you see, it is new for 2015. Edition, this is a 2017 Lamborghini Urus. Uh, designer of this Hot Wheel is Rula Sada. Uh, the reason why I say it's kind of new, because it... here you go. Lamborghini Urus. Uh, the first one came out as a concept, you could say, because the concept came out in 2012. <clears throat> All right, so nevertheless... This, uh, this uh, 2016 edition, even though Hot Wheels came out 2015, 16, I believe it was 2017 also. This 2017, it was when they put online as a 2018 model. So let's just open it up, look at it first, and then do some comparison. Uh, so... Uh, pretty nice detailed grill. Lamborghini uh, logo, headlights, they've been integrated the mirrors, uh, turn sync signal, the doors, uh, handles, air intakes, Euros license plate, nope, not in the front. So, Lamborghini as they, they, they do it in the signature edition, uh, the lettering signature. Uh, well detailed antenna, uh, gas cap, Y, uh, what is it, uh, Y5 uh, wheels, tenant uh, windows, so black interior as you see, and uh, now let's compare this to this, uh, so no, no door handles, let's put it side by side. Windows, uh, the tail lights are more of uh, like Lamborghini Huracan, Aventador type of thing. These more of long ones. These are like more Aventador. Bulgier and bigger grill. More uh, bigger and bulgy uh, bumper scoop versus this is just a lip. Um, let's see. Not too much detail besides uh, they got in the integrated inside, and this is more outside the hood. No gas cap, no doors, so roughly about the same. Same things, just more scoop. They had, and right here, they have just a bigger cutout. Versus here, if you look at it, side by side. So let's look in the back. Technically, there weren't no detail uh, tail lights versus this one has detail actually already. It looks just like a good copy of Lamborghini production version. This is a concept. All right, so this is roughly about the same way. And the, this Lamborghini Urus, it looks a little bit bigger. Yep. Here I am at about eye level. So it is a little bit bigger. Taller, I mean. Just slightly. So... All right, um, the designer of the concept, let's do this first. This one is 2015, 16 edition, uh, which is uh, 
number 142, the car number 142 out of 250 from Hot Wheel Hot Trucks, number 2 out of 10. So if you're interested, look it up. And as you see, it only has a logo, but not in a detail logo, versus this one has a detail Lamborghini lo logo. And the back is more detailed than right here. It's just uh, this. It has a screen pop-up, if you see. Dashboard. This one just has a little dashboard, but no screen pop-up. Uh, so the designer of the concept was Filippo Perini, the real car. Uh, the production version was, was Mija Burkert. The reason why they did, they also had a Lamborghini uh, e-stock. I, I know I have a Hot Wheel. I did a review on that too, which I, I'm going to post both of them, the Lamborghini Urus and e-stock, down in descriptions down below so you can watch those videos. Nevertheless, the production version was Mija Burkert. Uh, when they came out in 2012 for this one, uh, let me see. First of all, they did a, they were planning to do a production on this car, but because of economy back in 2012, it was still in a little downfall, which slowly started, started going up. So they, they decided to postpone it and not do production yet. And they waited for like five years, I guess, until they revealed it back in 2017 with slightly modifications, which this is a concept. Like I said, this, they modified it, upgraded it. And it, this car actually, because the concept had a Lamborghini Gallardo engine in it versus this one. It uses the same as Audi uh, 4.0 V8, 650 horsepower about. That's what it was pushing. So they finally, with the economy going up, and they decided to do a production. They modified it, as you see. So thank you for watching, guys. If you got any more detail, uh, please let me know. Like I said, um, designer was this was Ruasada. Unknown who of this, but I think it's the same guy, Ruasada. So I modified it. But nevertheless, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and see you next time. Thank you for your comparisons, and enjoy the ride. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, like us on Facebook. Follow us, uh, post your pictures and all that. Let's make it friendly and get it going. Thank you.